My name is Grant Thies, and I'm from Elkhorn, Wisconsin. So I actually uh, grew up in the Diocese of Milwaukee. Um, I'm a convert to the faith. And uh, when I moved to Madison to finish the RCIA process, I uh, went to the Cathedral Parish and uh, worked with Mark Ladonio and uh, the great Monsignor Holmes. Um, I guess, as I said before, I was in the UCC church until I was 18 years old. Uh, I enjoyed being an acolyte. Uh, as I really look back on it, I remember the part of the service, in a sense, that I really enjoyed was the glory be, and that's kind of extended in the Catholic Church. I definitely was attracted to Marquette University. Went there. Um, I had a good friend growing up who's a priest in Milwaukee, best friend. Um, as I say, he was always 14 going on 40, you know, very wise, and but a great guy, great sense of humor. Um, so it was great to grow up with him and go to Marquette University. Another friend that was influential in my life was uh, my friend Vince, who I met at my first floor meeting, had a t-shirt on that he recognized in the hometown, had relatives from the same hometown. So we became good friends. Uh, he was talented at everything, very intelligent, very athletic, and very passionate about his faith. So he was definitely a, an important influence. Um, and I was really blessed to have some great theology professors. Uh, my friend Vince kind of directed me to the right professors to take. And so I grew in my faith. I enjoyed the Catholic faith. At first I thought the masses were a little, um, I compared them to kind of funerals coming from my background, but just enjoyed the beauty of the Mass and all the individuals that I met there and learning about theology. People that are not Catholic and are feeling the restlessness and desire for truth, I would advise them to, um, I mean, I guess seek it out, take time, prayer, meet with, uh, meet with priests. And I mean, it is in all of us the truth. You know, we have that kind of homing beacon and it's, God lets you have free will, and I'm a testament to that, that you can turn away from it, but it's always going to bug you, um, definitely. It's great to, um, to, I mean, I don't know why he chose me, you know, sometimes I do, definitely. think like why, why couldn't you have made me a creative Catholic, and life would have been a lot easier, and Marquette would have been greater, but... Definitely, I can. As you look back on things, it's amazing grace that God gave me, that you know, to direct me through things. And so, yeah, definitely seek the truth. Don't be afraid. Uh, I forget how many times it's in the Bible, but do not be afraid. Uh, you don't have anything to lose. I don't think. Um, even going to the seminary, if you're not called to be a priest, then you're you're well-formed Catholic. Hopefully, you go to the right seminary. In the Diocese of Madison, they do send you to some of the best seminaries. And you'll just, I, a priest told me once, you never, no guy, no, no guy that's gone to the seminary has regretted it. It's a great opportunity to be around men and to discern your call. And for those non-Catholics, if God calls you, it's an excellent opportunity.